Hello, welcome to all the classic car enthusiasts, many fans, or many enthusiasts, classic cars anyway. So, I've done the jig. I, uh, Papa Doug uh, from the Prairies uh, dropped me an email and he was talking about Meg, uh, sorry, about stick welding. And uh, I completely forgot I had an old welding machine, which I picked up, I don't know, about five years ago from a car boot sale for, for 10 euros, so it was about seven quid. And it wasn't just the, the welder, it was a needle gun for heavy metal and a piece of rail, I think it was, a piece of railway line, which I use as an anvil. Anyway, so I, I completely forgot about it. I had rods and everything, so I've now done it with the rods. I mean, I would have preferred meat, but I didn't have time to go and get gas. But, and it works, well, I'll just show you it now, but there are, there is something here, a bit of a warning uh, inherently uh, with this type of jig. And this is the type of jig that uh, Sean's got, I think DB's got one, and quite a few others. And it was something that I didn't notice, and it's something I want to warn you about. Basically, uh, the, the jig's perfect, They're, it's a good jig, but taking off both uh, uh, inner, inner arches or inner wings is not a good idea. Because there's no because the supports here on the tow board and here on the bulkhead, there's very little support in the centre there. And what happens is is it does this, it flexes. And I'll show you exactly that in a minute. But I'll turn it over for you first. The jig that I uh, that we put up for uh, Alex DJSC is a completely different uh, kettle of fish because you've got the support here. The support to, to, to rotate it. You've got one support here. The tube is going through and supporting on the companion bin. So now you've got this load spread over a massive area. So there is no problem with this. So it wouldn't have come up if I it hadn't changed it. So it's something to be aware of. I'm going to have to work out some way of putting some strengthening in this. What I'm going to do for now is I'm going to use this hydraulic table. And I'll just bring it up so I can show you. I don't know if this will go up high enough, it should do. But if I, if I lift this, you can see with your own eyes, watch this bulkhead here. In fact, I'll bring the camera around a little bit, just so you can see it. Sorry about moving it around. But watch this bulkhead flex here when I lift it. So I'm going to lift it up. I have the, the, the hydraulic table, so it's no problem. I can use that to, to, to help. But it's just going to take the strain now. Okay, it's on it now. So watch this bulkhead here. You see it? You can see it there. And as I let it down, you see this flex in it? So be very careful not <clears throat> to take off both sides at the same time. Even one side could be a problem. So I'll come up with some way of, of, uh, of saving that because there's very little strength in this panel across here. So that means the whole bulkhead is sitting on these one, two, three, about four or five webs. So something to be careful of. So what I'll do is I'll lay it down and it will take the strain and I'll take this out of the way. I'll rotate it for you, but it's something I'm going to have to have to work out. So I'll take this, I'll take you back again so you can see it. Hopefully that's a good enough shot. So I'm going to lock, and you can see this is a perfect height for welding up here now. Yeah, for doing all the welding without bending over. And then when I rotate it. Perfect height there for welding. And it's easy to weld this way as well. So <clears throat> I'm going to put the other bar in now. I, the, the bar is on, on the other side and it fits perfectly, so it must be almost the same as the E-type. Um, but I didn't put it in just now because I wanted to show you with this and obviously I'm going to have to turn it over and support it because I don't want all this weight. And you can see it's exactly the same configuration as the normal ones 
Uh, the, the, the box bar, so there should be no problem, there's no movement here. But obviously all this bulkhead is moving, so I'm going to turn it back over again. And I'll put this under it just to support it overnight. And it actually, it actually even sits almost. So I'm going to put this under to support it overnight. But I'm not happy about that bulkhead. That's something we need to look at. This is a half ton uh, jack, so there's no problem with it. And I didn't notice it until I put it onto the stand. And then I thought, oh God. So something to be careful of guys, don't be taking both sides out at the same time and then, and see, look at that, I can't believe it, there we go. So, just be aware of that, that this is a problem if you take both sides up because you've got virtually nothing supporting it. So, um, that's that done anyway, um, I just need to uh, think about supporting it in a better way. Uh, but it's, it works okay. So I'll have to go and get gas tomorrow anyway. But this little, I'll take the, in fact, I'll, I'll stop the camera and I'll, I'll show you something. I'll show you the welder. There we go. This is the, the welder. You can see the rods there. Sort of ger German. Uh, it's not great. The amperage is not easy to, to move around and that. Uh, but it did the job. And you can see it's quite a, quite a cheap one. You know, a little, very shitty little plastic uh, rod and even the, the earth's not great. But it did the job, I mean, um, for seven quid. Uh, and I've used it about half a dozen times, but I completely forgot I, got, I had it. You can see from the dust that's on it. You can see there's so much dust on this thing. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, it's the stick welding, it's, especially with something like this that's reasonably cheap. Uh, it's very hard to. You have got an adjustment here, um, but they're not they're not great, I have to say. So there you go. So this was the alternative to that bad boy there. Because both them bottles are gone. Anyway, it is what it is. So stay safe, keep the faith, and uh, enjoy your hobby. Bye. So this is my new project. Yeah, not for restoration, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, um, it doesn't have any registration or book work with it. But the four-wheel drive on it's a four-wheel drive version, and the four-wheel drive and uh, uh, everything works really well on the engines. Good starts. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip the cab off it and sell everything off for him. Um, basically, got it for next to nothing, and uh, 100 euro. I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, but the engine is really good and the transfer box and everything, I've checked it all out. Um, so the sideboards are going to be for sale on it. The cab, I'll take everything off and what I'm going to do is use it like a like a tug, what they call a tug, on a, on a like on an aircraft carrier where they used to move the helicopters around. It'll just be the, the basic chassis of it, I'll make a frame for it and it'll have just the seat and the steering wheel and, and then the back bit over the engine um, and because it's four-wheel drive I can use it in for the garden and uh, uh, put because there'll be no cab on it just the steering wheel I can put the shells on it unfortunately my little tractor is just too small it's not enough power in it to get it up that hill so basically it'll just be a, a box a box kind of chassis flatbed with a with a seat and a wheel and a steering wheel on it so if there's anybody out there that knows anybody who needs these doors they're all in quite good condition there's panels, I mean, it's rotten here, obviously this is all coming off. But it's all in there, um, but I'll take it off complete uh, rather than destroy it. There is quite a few bad dents in it. And then either sell it on or dump the body. Unfortunately, the front's having a bit, bit, bit of a wallop. But all the glass and everything's in it. Um, so all I need is the wheels, the chassis and the running gear, basically. So if you know anybody, it runs really well. Right quite surprised but the doors are in quite good nick so yeah so I'll take everything out as I said I'll just leave a seat or eight and make a seat whatever and a steering wheel that's all I need put a piece of metal up there for the for the uh, to hold the steering wheel in place 
but if anybody is interested in any of the bits from this, um, I'm going to give the money back to um, Philip, the guy that owns it. As I say, there is no registration with it, so unfortunately, I'm trying to restore it. I think it's beyond, rest well, it's not beyond, but it isn't worth it, I don't think, even being four-wheel drive. So yeah, that's the project, the project buggy, or, or uh, um, garden, I suppose we're going to call it a garden four-wheeler, I suppose. It'll, it'll work okay. So that's it, that's the next project coming up soon. Bye.